Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pizosa channel. Happy Halloween. So, Kelsey's in the other room taking a shower. I thought I'd give her a little <coughs> see what happens. Little jolt to the Halloween spirit. See what happens. Here I go. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Tony just gave me a scare in the shower, but happy Halloween guys. We just wanted to talk to you today because we haven't been on here in a while like sitting down so. And it's a nice uh, late morning, Halloween morning and uh, our story today is going to be about the home that we lived in briefly. I lived in for 18 years, just some weird things in that house. Since it's Halloween, we'll kind of tell that story. And I know that the home that we're gonna show some photos of, we have lots of orbs and different stories to tell and we'll get into that, but the subdivision was built in the late 50s and that home was built in around 1960 and talking to some of the neighbors that lived around the house at the time and most of them were original buyers and for whatever reason this particular house had frequent flyers as far as it had multiple owners over the years since 1960 and that should have been uh, a clue right there that maybe there's something going on so this video is going to hopefully uh, give you a little bit of a scare or maybe just pique your interest in the paranormal. So the first photo that we have here is, just to give you a little perspective, is the old house had a walkout basement to a patio, and I had tiki torches, uh, you know, patio furniture, and a fire pit going. We were getting ready to have the boys come out and roast s'mores and hot dogs and maybe play some games or something like that so I decided to snap a picture before everybody came out and if you look closely at the flame and the fire you can see some faces in the fire which I didn't even know or even realize until I posted it on Facebook and some other friends pointed it out to me what's that in the fire but also if you look over by the uh, patio table there's some weird form that looks like it's just above the height of the table so check it out and see what you think so put your comments uh below as far as what you think that could be or if you have any paranormal experiences that you've experienced please share it with us we'd love to hear from you the next picture that we have is the little background story here is that Kelsey again was taking a shower and this time she got a scare from something that I to this day cannot explain but I was in another room uh, we were fixing the house up getting ready to sell and I was packing boxes up in another room and Kelsey again was taking a shower do you want me to tell him and you I tell your part of it because it's just so weird so I was like shampooing my hair or something and all of a sudden the exhaust fan turned off and the light and then of course you're scared like did the power go out or you know what happened so i started yelling for tony and he came in and he was like babe why'd you turn out the lights why'd you turn off the fan and i was like i didn't they went off that's why i was screaming for you and then you can tell him what you found on my chest well when of course she had the curtain pulled back and we're trying to figure out you know is this a problem we're gonna have to fix in order for the home to pass inspection and then all of a sudden i realized we'll show you the pictures here that uh, kelsey had a, some scratch marks across her chest 
and she said that she felt burning and also the the I don't know what kind of bathroom mat that is a foam it's like mat. a memory foam one where you can rub your head your hand on it and it like you can see where you rubbed so I I took a picture and that's what you're seeing now that uh, of the marks on Kelsey's chest and I took pictures of that memory foam bathroom mat and there was just a weird footprint in there and that was a very strange occurrence that I, I don't know I, I mean what are your thoughts on that <laughs> it's unexplainable you can't there's nothing to say about it as we were um, got further along into cleaning the house up decluttering it getting it ready to go on the market painting walls the next photos you're gonna see is we had there's two lights in the hallway and the switch turns both of them on at the same time and Kelsey was painting I don't know if you were painting the trim or painting the walls or something in there and all of a sudden the light went out and Kelsey felt that burning sensation across her chest again and I took pictures of the light being out and I took pictures of the marks that showed up on her chest again and it was um, just a weird experience I had to uh, you know I turned the light off and when I flipped the switch back on both lights came back on it was really weird um, I don't know, uh, did you hear anything or mm -hmm. hear the floor creak or anything like that? It's, that was a weird experience. Tell, uh, your story about, uh, I was gone, I think I was at a hockey practice or hockey game with Drew, and what, what did you experience? I was making lunches in the kitchen, and... I hated to be alone at that house. I just hated it. I never wanted to be there alone. And especially at night when it's not light in the house. But I was only in the kitchen. So I had only the kitchen light on. Didn't have the living room light on. Nothing. Hallway. Nothing. And I sit down at the table to kind of prepare something for work the next day. And I hear this noise. And it sounds like the grudge. And if you haven't seen that movie, I'm going to play a clip for you right now. But um, that's exactly what it sounded like. And I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was just like frozen. I couldn't move. Nothing. And then he walks in and he's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, this noise I heard, it's freaked me out, you know. But. And the boys, Kyle and, and Drew, have told me crazy uh, stories that they like drew speaker yeah um but i'll tell kyle's first i don't have any pictures of that but we were coming back from one of their hockey games and usually the only light we had on is a little uh kind of uh i guess kitchen night light that was on and Kyle said he walked in the house and the, you have the kitchen and then you kind of have an opening that you can either go into the living room or back towards the bedrooms and, and the bathroom. And he said standing in that entranceway to I guess the living room or the hallway, he saw this black figure and it just got bigger and bigger and it just really scared him. Uh, now Drew's story with the speaker, of course this house had a finished basement and he was laying on the couch and goofing around on his phone like all kids do. And the pictures you're gonna see is he was down there and I heard a loud bang and you know, and I'm like, Drew, what are you doing down there? And he was just looked at me, he had a, I don't know, just a bewildered look on his face. And he's like, I was laying down here, I guess he was, you know, like I said, playing games on his phone. And I had speakers up on the wall because we had this little room that we kind of turned into a little theater room. The um, speaker had flown off the wall and hit the lamp and landed in the floor. And, you know, the wires, uh, you know, were kind of going up from the floor. And he's like, I was like, well, did your foot hit the wire or do something to make it fall off? Or did you bump the wall? And he's like, no, dad. I was just laying here 
you know, goofing around on my phone and it just flew off and it scared me. So that was uh, another incident that was just really weird. And the last one is the the piece of wood in when we were doing another fire pit and it burned a face completely through the wood. I put a piece of wood, it was some old fencing. I had uh, taken a part of a fence down and replaced part of it. And you know, instead of throwing it out, it makes good kindling or whatever. So I threw a piece on there and then I realized that the way it was burning, it, it looked like a face. So we're gonna play that video for you. So just make sure in the comments you tell us what you think of all of our occurrences. <laughs> I don't know what you can call them. I, I could go on with different stories. All of you out there have experienced that in either the house you lived in, the house you currently live in, or maybe you have a friend that has uh, stories to tell of the paranormal. and. We have some friends that kind of do the same thing and help people with kind of demonic type things. And they told us to get a Bible, play some Christian music and read. Open a window. Open a window. And what we did is we actually cracked the front door and we did this. It was still kind of chilly out, mm -hmm. but we still cracked the door. Uh, we opened windows and, and all the rooms just a little bit and then we went to go sit in the living room and we started reading Psalm 98 and we just said a little prayer we read Psalm 98 and as we were doing that there was a loud bang underneath both of our feet it was three times after that too right and if you know that the demonic always bang three times as an insult to the Trinity. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So that what really freaked me out. That was when I knew that we were definitely dealing with something in that house. And I don't know if maybe the previous owners were into the occult or what they did to open that window up, but it there were just so many weird things experience that uh, Kelsey doesn't like to talk about it but we were downstairs uh, we were in the movie room and she was watching we were finishing watching the movie we we're kind of cleaning things up getting ready for bed and all of a sudden she's I, I can't even explain it she just after the incident was over I mean, she didn't say anything. I didn't know if she was breathing. She just looked panicked and she couldn't say anything. It was almost like she was paralyzed. And afterwards she said that she just felt like there was somebody or some thing that had their hands around her throat and it was choking her and cutting off her airway. And at this time, we've already had had multiple experiences that we had just discussed. So I kind of made the sign of the cross over her and kind of said, be gone in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And it was at that time she was like, <sighs> and it's like, that was weird. And I, I couldn't wait for the day that we sold that house and got out of there. But make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And we're going to post a little bit more from now on. We've had a busy month of October and a month of September and the month of August. So um, we've just kind of been posting whatever we can and now we want to get back into the groove of things, do more challenges. So if you have a challenge that you would like us to do, please comment below what it is and we will try to do it for you guys. We're putting some creepy clips in our video. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's so scary. <laughs>
Your horns came off. My horns. Why am I always Lucifer? Oh, 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 o